I'm telling you, man. When you do something significant in life, I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you do or what you're doing or what you've done. If you're doing anything to do a change, significance, you are contributing to your own life in a positive way. People will be spying on you. For the people that used to know you. Could be your parents. Could be your old friends. Probably a lot of your old friends. A lot of people. When you were doing certain when you were doing certain things. When you were up. These people will spy. And the fact that you keep making progress, you keep making progress. You could be somebody that you moved somewhere and it was a positive move on your end. You moved out of your hometown into a bigger city, into somewhere else, and you did it for your, for your own best interest. And people see that. People from your hometown are probably threatened by that. They probably hate you for it. They're probably spying on you. Whatever. When people continue to watch you elevate as a person, the watching goes up. The number of people who watch you goes up. And... You're going to feel it. And it is what it is. If you can't deal with that, you, you, I don't even know if you should level up anymore, to be honest, if you cannot deal with that. Because you have to deal with that. It's a part of life. It's a part of life that we live in today. It's how life is today. The social media era. We have each other's attention, it seems, as if 24-7. Everybody knows everybody. People who follow you, people can follow you, you know. Your best bet is to have private accounts. Your best bet is to do all these things. You can even make people not follow you. Don't act, do not accept requests from certain people you don't want to. But the truth is, these people, as I continue to speak here, they will soon reach out. They are spying on you. They're waiting for the right opportunity to soon reach out to you as you keep progressing. You could be making positive progress in the beginning stages of your level up stage. They're probably not going to reach out. They probably don't think anything really of it too much. They don't think you're going to keep building momentum off of your own growth, but you do. Somehow you do. Because chosen ones find a way to do anything. You keep building, you keep building, you keep building. And a lot of these people are soon going to reach out to you. They're going to want to talk to you. And by the time they reach out, it's going to be too late. You're probably not even going to give them a response, depending on who it is. But you don't have to respond to anybody you don't want to respond to. To this day, that's how I carry myself. I don't have to respond to anybody I don't want to respond to. There's a lot of things said to me on a daily basis. I get a lot of DMs on Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram. My tag is in the description box. Um, I get a lot of emails. Get a lot of comments every single day. A lot of texts. Messages coming left, right, and center from every angle. A lot of people like to say very unnecessary things mean things for no reason. I've done nothing to them personal, but for some reason they're attacking me. And these are messages I begin not even to read as soon as I see or sense negativity from somebody that has messaged me. 
it's archived, deleted, blocked, whatever. I don't care. It's not my problem, that's yours. So, and that's how you have to carry yourself in today's day and age because people are spying on you. People are watching every move you make. And people will be reaching out and you can't respond to negativity because a lot of the time, even some of these people are snakes. They're looking to set you up. People are looking to get answers from you to try to set you up. People ask me very personal questions. I don't answer. Why would I answer? I don't have to answer. I don't even know who you are. Why would I answer that? It's a waste of my time. And I don't know who you are. Well, who knows what you're up to? That's how you have to think of certain things because, you know, when you're out there, People's watching you more than you even think. And I don't think it's necessarily healthy to be thinking about these things too much, but I'm just giving you guys a video of truth. It is what it is. I don't want to necessarily make everybody else overthink, but it is what it is. Just know it, because knowing the truth, you know, it's a good thing. But you got to know how to handle yourself as well. Just handle things with class. Just do what's right. Because when you're making positive progress, like I said, big or small, when you're making moves, you might you may have moved. You may have got a job promotion. You may have started your own business and it took off. You might have got into a new relationship with a the person of your dreams, guy or girl, whoever you are. It could be anything. And people's gonna start to watch you for it because if you're excelling, if you're succeeding, if you're being happy, if you're doing things that fill you up, that benefit you, a lot of other people in this world are not doing those things because they're delusional. They're still playing games. They're still doing unnecessary things on a daily basis. So when they see other people being happier than them, succeeding more than them, doing things more than them, they're gonna watch, they're gonna envy it, they might try to set you up, who knows what's gonna happen. You gotta be careful of these people. You can only trust those who's really close to you, who you can who you can speak to on a, on a daily basis real close. You're probably going to have a lot of acquaintances. You don't tell those people too much either. Because who knows who they really are. Like, who knows? But you can count on the people who are close to you. And that's about it. Other than that, just be careful, bro. I'm telling you. You never know what's going on out there in this world. You just never really know. People are shady. People try to set me up many times at a something that wouldn't have even worked. It's like, what are you doing? What are you trying to prove? People slandering my name over YouTube, making me up to be some bad person when every video I've ever made was intended to help. And there's still people slandering people like mine's name just for clout. You see what people do? You can't trust anybody. Only the people closest to you. I'm not going to say you got to look at everybody as an enemy either. You can give people the benefit of the doubt. I trust more people than I like. I don't look at pe everybody as evil. But to like, to really, really, like, there, there are certain acquaintances, if you guys know what I mean, that you just, you get them the benefit of the doubt. Now, you're not going to trust them 100%, but for the most part, you trust, you, you just should trust people up until they show you otherwise. I think that's a good way to live. Um, I don't think you should live as if everyone's out to get you. That's just kind of crazy. There's points in my life where pretty much everybody from my hometown was out to get me because I'm succeeding. I'm doing good. Go cry. But I didn't think of the world is out to get me. I literally wanted to move at one point. 
get with better people, harder working people, more ambitious people, get away from these clowns. I never had the mentality, oh, everyone's out to get me, this paranoia. No, no, no one in this world, like, not everybody in this world is out to get you. There's many people in this world who, who would really love a person like you. So you can't have that mentality either, but there's just those people, which is, which is why I made this video that they are spying on you. They are trying to find anything they can about you to try to make you look bad, to slander your name, to do anything they want or anything they can to just take you down. Because that's there's pe people like this in the world do exist. But if you see nothing but good actions from others, positivity, stuff like this, then you should give them the benefit of the doubt. All while not putting your full trust in them, but giving them the benefit of the doubt. Be positive towards them back. Because they've done nothing to you, why should you be a dick? They probably are a good person. Right? So you just gotta know what people, man, you gotta know what you're doing in this world. You gotta know how to move. And you, <laughs> I'm gonna say this before I end this video. If you're the type of person, you're just never really doing anything, you're not really moving, you're not going anywhere, you're not really, nothing is really elevating in your life. You don't have to worry because no one really gives a damn. I'm just gonna be honest. Nobody cares if you're just sitting still and nothing is ever happening in your life. You're not making any progress at all. Like in any way, shape, or form. No one's going to give a damn. You're not going to be seen. You're not going to be heard. Which, if that's what you want, that's great. But if you're a person, you're highly ambitious. You know you have a lot of talent. You know you know, you know you have a lot of skill. And you know what you want. You know what you're going for. And you are making a lot of progress. This is when you have to be careful. This is when videos like these are very beneficial. Because you could get tricked. Somebody could set you up. Somebody could use you. Oh, now that you got this success, now these people want to hit you up. Which, like I said, people are soon going to hit you up. When you become successful, when you are elevating, people are going to soon reach out. Those are the people you got to be careful of. Especially if something feels weird. That the fact that this person that you probably used to know is hitting you up and you're on a high right now like you're up, you're probably on cloud nine and certain people are hitting you up you used to know them be careful it's not a good sign at all they're probably watching you since day one they're probably watching you for years just waiting just waiting just waiting but where the, where were they the whole time doubting you envying you nothing but negativity towards you not accepting you, being weird towards you, because that's what these people are. They are weird. They act weird. And you know, once they see it's probably cool to start supporting you or it's popular to start supporting you, you're not even going to want their support because you're going to see through them. The fake pieces of trash that they are. You don't need them. You don't want them. You're just going to look at that situation like, who the F are you? And what do you think you're doing? Because I don't care. Who are you? Exactly. Get the F out of here. Get out of my face. That's what you're going to see. You're going to get these types of looks from these people, and you're not going to like it. Because you're going to see through it. The fake pieces of trash that they are. They're users. That's all they are. They don't know what support is. They don't know what loyalty is. They're on the run. They're on the go. For whatever benefits them. Because that's how they see the world. They don't see the world as them benefiting others while others benefit them. They don't do that. They're not going to bring you any benefits at all. They're coming in to use you only to piggyback off of what you've done, what you've accomplished. They might, you might have a lot of money. They want that. Maybe not necessarily your money, but maybe things involved that's coming out of your bank account that's going to benefit them, like maybe liquor, drugs, whatever. 
And these are just examples. It could be anything. These people want you because they think in their head they can use you for maybe things like this or free trips to Miami or whatever. Hawaii. They just think they can use you. So they will soon hit you up. They're spying on your life when they feel it's necessary to hit you up. That's when they're going to hit you up. And if you're any bit smart, if you have any experience with things like this already, you're going to see it for what it is. It's going to be cringe to you. God help that person. You're not even going to respond. And you know what they're going to say behind the scenes when you don't respond? They turn on you again. Because that's all they do. It's like these people just have to win with you. They just can't be a decent human being. They don't know what that is. They do what benefits them only. Without being a good person to, to, to anybody else. They're looking to piggyback. And those are the frauds we don't want around. At all. They have nothing. So, I warned you guys here first. Don't even respond. And you gotta make sure it is a person like that because you know, someone could reach out and they could, they could have good intentions. You just never know. But in most cases, if you know of a person you used to know in the past, You know they're watching you. You know you you knew it, but they never said nothing for years, 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 years. Maybe even five plus years. You hit a certain threshold. They're reaching out. You will feel it inside of you that this is not genuine. Those are the people I'm telling you guys right now. Don't even respond to. Them. Just leave it at that. And they will shame you behind your back. They will turn on you once again. All oh, this person just thinks he's all this. She just thinks she's all that. That's what they do. Because they just want to be a part of the party. But they don't want to benefit. They don't want to bring nothing to the party. They don't want to benefit. They're just looking to piggyback. They're not looking to wait in line at the amusement park to get on the roller coaster. They're just button in line right to the top. Guess what, pal? Get to the back of the line. It don't work like that. You want anything, you gotta put in a little bit of work. You get a benefit. And if not, get the F out. And now I'm out.